Okie doke. Check my journal. So that's our next spot. The Deep Roads Expedition. Where did you learn your magic? Okay. During the daytime. Well. Okay, so we gotta go to High Town. Here we go. Alrighty then. Hello there. You there, Ferelden. I wish to speak with you. You've gained quite a reputation with the Red Iron Mercenary Band. I find myself in need of someone with your special talents. What of it, old man? I am a magistrate in this city, and I expect to be addressed with respect. Especially from someone who might be working for me soon. A man I sentenced to a life in prison has escaped custody. He's been tracked to an abandoned ruin outside the city. I'd like you to retrieve the fugitive and hand him over to the guard. Why is there such a clamor to catch this man? What has he done? He's escaped. That's reason enough to catch him. We're both intelligent people. There's something in the ruins, isn't there? There is something, yes. There are creatures in the ruins. The guards I sent are ill-equipped to deal with such beasts. I'm sure if you send in enough men this time, they'd do fine. No. The more guards who know, the easier it is for this to get out. Those men gossip like old fishwives. It'd be easier to seal up the entrance and let the beasts take care of him. I believe in justice, Ferelden, not unbridled slaughter. I will not let prisoners be eaten just because I don't want to get my hands dirty. Do you know what manner of beasts they are? I don't know what they look like. I've never seen one myself. The guards say these things have already torn through a full company of men. I'll take the job. Bring the fugitive in alive, quickly and quietly. Not only will you be well paid, You'll have the gratitude of a city magistrate. Useful for a refugee, wouldn't you agree? Alrighty. Did Sweet. I hear correctly? You. Please, can you help me? My brother. That's possible. Give me the details. Karen was always so devout, so idealistic. He was so proud when the Templars accepted him. I pleaded with him not to join the order. But he wouldn't listen. You hear dark rumors about the Templars and Knight Commander Meredith. And now my brother is gone. What have you heard about the Templars? People harboring escaped mages just disappear. Templars interrogate and threaten passers-by. My friend has a cousin who's a mage. And she says he was made tranquil against his will. You hear more with every passing day. What do people say about Knight Commander Meredith? Oh, she has many admirers. They lord at the service she does in keeping the mages in check. But others say she is terribly fierce, and utterly without pity, that she sees demons everywhere. It is dangerous even to whisper such things. Stop crying, and tell me what you know. Yes, Sarah. Karen would write me every day. Then suddenly, no more letters. I wrote him many times with no response. I tried to see him, but Knight Commander Meredith threw me out. They won't tell me anything. I'd be putting myself at risk, possibly crossing the Templars. Why should I do this for you? I have precious little. But if you find my brother, I will manage some way to pay you. 
perchance. In your journeys, if you find yourself in the gallows, ask the other recruits, Wilmard and Hugh, about my brother. They were Karen's closest friends in the Order. If anyone knows where he is, it's them. Make her bless you and watch after you in this endeavor. Cool beans. Another quest. Found a quest to seek the Grail. Let's see what's up here. Ah, it's the Chantry. What's going on back in the Chantry? You know, you cannot wish the Templars away. I found something here. Sweet. Try. Is the circle <coughs> truly so terrible an option? Do you really have to ask that? Thing in here. You Doesn't look like it. Safe from others as well as from yourself. And they will be kept And trust a bride of the maker. I didn't ask for this. Ready. Nobody this asks for their fate. Stop interrupting each other. We have here more reading. Right. Your lost garbage, Sarah. Well, thank you. Turned in the remains. I shall not be left to wander drifting. Let's leave. It's the gallows. Let's go explore these areas. We haven't been here yet. Let's go to the abandoned ruins. Here we are. I'm here to do your job for you. Where's the fugitive? No skin off my nose if you want to go in there and get yourself killed. The man you're looking for, he's holed up in the ruins. Though I doubt he's still in one piece. That bastard's to be brought in alive after all he's done? Just because it isn't you and your pretty little shemlin children he's after. I don't know or care who you are, but you need to step back right now. Please, Sarah, let me explain. The man you're after, he targets elves. He dragged my daughter into those ruins and killed her. I want him dead. My girl, Leah, uh, she wasn't his first victim. Over the years, he's taken dozens of our children, and not once has he paid for his crimes. Would you mind telling me who you are? Uh, my name is Elrin. I'm a merchant in the city. Please, no one else cares that our children are being slaughtered like beasts. There must be some humans who would take offense to these disappearances. We're nothing to them. Even if this murderer does finally go before the courts, the Magistrate won't take our word over his. Why only elves? Why not human children as well? We're easy prey. No one thinks twice when an elven child disappears. I'll tear his throat out myself. Thank you, Sarah. You have no idea what this means. For all my damn coin, I'm still only an elf to these Shemlin. There'll be no justice for my girl in the courts of Kirkwall. What do you say about all this? They won't go in after him. They're stalling, 
trying to give the murdering bastard a chance to get away. Oi now, Elf. Like we said before, you're bleeding mad if you think we'll be going against the Magistrate's orders. The Magistrates of Kirkwall will pass judgment, not you or me. No human Magistrate is going to side with an Elf. Right. Let's go into the ruin.